guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back with our Graveborn account. We did the Light Bearers yesterday. Today is all about the Graveborns. We have been building out Fane. We actually got Fane right here. Um, got that plus 30 signature item on him. Already have that six of nine furniture. Definitely want to build him out. So a lot of players have said he's, he hasn't been super effective. Um, the crowd control overall, it, it's really consistent with the heroes that you're putting in that formation. Even looking here, guys, the Bone Prison is extended, and then he receives less damage. I really feel like that the 9 of 9 furniture is going to deal with the issues of the survivability. He does go a little bit further into the front line, meaning he is pretty vulnerable. In addition, we are building out Tresnar. Um, have four more pieces of furniture on there. You can see we already have the plus 30 signature item. Now, he is going to be one that I am going to... Um, utilize a lot he he is really powerful him dashing to the back line we do need to get again with him that nine of nine furniture for that life leech and also the energy regeneration very strong there as well as the immunity that he possesses when we did build out those the um shield mitigation right here and then of course unable to heal that is a skill that a lot of players kind of overlook um Trezenar will actually cancel out the ability to heal for eight seconds Meaning when you're fighting some teams um, such as Omis, which is kind of a pain in the butt, when you're fighting Nomura, um, some of those heroes that are very healing heavy will make a big difference with Tresnar. Super excited to continue to build them out. Just like we always do, let's go ahead. We'll get into the summons, guys. We're already in 37-36, so we are almost complete with this right now. We have three Elite Stones in here. Hopefully we get somebody good. We get Pharrell, so not too bad. Looking at the other factions, we are still building a lot in there to continue our progression within the towers itself, making sure that, again, we, we are just continuing and pushing all of the time. Now, here we haven't gotten any Stargazer cards. Temple of Time cards, of course, we're saving if we do get, or when we do get, um, faction-specific heroes. So if we do get an Awakened Graveborn hero... This is going to be where we're going to summon them and utilize them. So every day I am buying out the cards just so we can save those and see exactly who we can build out. Let's start with our companion points here. Hoping that we pick up a couple of the legendary heroes. I know the rates on them are very, very low, but we got double elites here, guys, with a copy of Grana right there and a copy of Sophia. Anytime that you pull the Elite heroes out of here is very cool to see because, again, the, the rates are a little bit lower in here um, based on the heroes that we're pulling with the companion points. And another one right there, guys, which is Tresnar. Very nice. I want to see if we can add some stars to him. I want to get him to the five-star rating to really maximize the damage that he's going to be doing in there because we do have him built. Last one gives us a double. Very nice. It's Tylee and Cecilia, so not bad with the summons overall um let's see if we can actually add a star here on Tresnar, which i don't think we can but we are going to pick up a copy of sophia again when it comes to the rest of the factions guys really pushing these towers super important same here with um ty lee get some copies there we also do have Kasos. all right so Tresnar, i believe we do need Let's see what we got. So we got him at two stars. This will actually give him, there's another copy. So we need two to, to add a star. So that would be four. We'd need five copies of Tresnar and that will take him to five stars. We have five available. The probability of pulling this with 21,000 diamonds is pretty low guys, but I'm hoping it is going to be possible. I know we could wait to pull him, but I really just want to build these heroes out we could focus a little more on the stargazer which there's our first copy of him that will actually add the third star to him because remember guys four of the five teams actually over four of the five teams um are reliant entirely on grave warns. now if this is the first time checking out the faction accounts we only run a hundred percent of our faction heroes within there we do not run anyone else so all of our stages that we're progressing through are the specific faction heroes all right so let's go ahead we'll build a little bit more to him adding another star right there i'm gonna have to get a little bit more food um build up our mauler so we can continue with those but that'll give us our third star right there guys as we continue to build him out very cool to see shamir is almost done so we only have one two three we have four we have four heroes within this faction that are not five stars you can see guys a majority of them are built out i'm also waiting 
for the upcoming Summit event. We know the third year anniversary is right around the corner, which is going to be very cool to see and how we are gonna to continue to build out all of these heroes. We'll add a little bit more to the celerity of very strong tree guys to build out, especially with Treznar in there. Okay, and we have 27,000 um, poke coins, so definitely gonna be able to fill some out. Again, looking to finish out Treznar, um, looking to build out Fane. We also have Hodgkin in here as well, and I believe that's it, guys. I, I think for the Graveborn faction, we only have one, two, three Graveborns that remain. Again, hoping with the cards that we can finish a couple of these out. First one gives us a copy for Albedo. Back to back right there, which is a copy for Ezio. Love when we get that Mythic Furniture back to back. And another piece right there, guys, which is Albedo again. She's a hero. Um, three of three is a requirement when you're building her out. Nine of nine, of course, as you progress further, is going to do and work with her survivability. So right there, we pull Merlin and we pull Alna. A solid double pull right there. Hopefully we can get one or two more. I think that's about all of our poke coins right there, which it is, guys, but that gives us two cards on the table. So let's equip what we got, see who we can max out. Unfortunately, we didn't get any Graveborn heroes, um, but looking right here, the high priority, this is our Graveborn heroes, Celestials, Hypogens, and also our Dimensional heroes. You can see, guys, these. this is what we're making our five teams for. One, two, three, four, five. We even have two heroes. Um, that we can kind of interchange with some of the builds out here. Um, definitely focusing on some of the dimensional heroes. And then of course, everyone else that we have maxed out right here on the bottom. So let's hit up the workshop. We will recycle what we are not utilizing. Mike gives us enough for one more summon, just a little bit shy there, but that takes Albedo to six. It takes Merlin to six, takes Ezio to seven. Again, we didn't get any more copies when it comes to the Graveborn heroes. But we also do have Alna within that formation, which makes me think we should just save up the furniture that we have in there um, to continue to build them out. Now, with the Graveborn Heroes, plus 30s are pretty much everyone except Shamira. Shamira is the only one we actually do not have at a plus 30 signature item. Looking here, we are building out, and we have built out Taylene. Um, Taylene is going to be a hero that we're still utilizing, not only within the Celestial Tower, um, but also using with her within formations. Lucretia, we have completely built out, and I believe on all of our faction accounts, um, we do have Lucretia at the 309, so she is built out. Don't, we didn't add any stars on her as of yet um, to go ahead and engrave her. Then, of course, guys, we have our... our um, Dimensional heroes, we have a lot of the dimensional heroes done here, which is definitely nice to see. Some of the heroes, we do have to add some of these signature items to allow us to utilize some of these heroes again within the campaign stages so we can make progression. We've gotten to the point where it is requiring us to kind of pick and choose what heroes we are utilizing within here. Um, just for the simple fact, guys, we have a lot of heroes so when you're looking at stages like this and you have a composite, again, utilizing all of our Graveborn heroes in four of the five formations, this one, a little bit of a mix. We have Fane and we have Baden within here, which I might have to change that one up. This one relying on Shamira. And then of course we do have Kelthar right in here. Running with Grez, this might be again, a little formation that we can change up. And then we do have our full dimensional formation which again, you could swap Leo in here, you can keep Merlin in here. Um, Prince of Persia does really well. But overall guys, looking at the level deficiencies, we are about 100 levels, I, I would say about 80, 80 plus levels. So it can be incredibly hard to get through here. This is where the auto battle is kind of getting cut off because we've actually hit the point where we have to run through here. We have to change up formations really to, to get these teams and get these team comps to really click but I'm trying to keep some of the heroes still kind of reserved um, just based on what they have. For instance, Izold running in here with this combination. I, I don't feel like this is gonna be the strongest combination, but hopefully if Silas can keep some of the targets up, such as Oden, the amount of damage that Oden does, most of you guys know, um, is just absolutely devastating, which is the reason why we build him out so, so hard and so fast. Um, 245 million damage here. Formations like this, this is going to be more of a questionable formation. Um, this is another one that we might have to 
to change up. We might have to swap some heroes in here, might have to run Hodgkin in here. Um, we're gonna see exactly what we can do to get these formations down, guys. There's the lockdown, and that is what I love to see. Um, Lucretia can usually run through relatively quick um, if she is not getting burned down. So the big thing here that really counters Lucretia is Pharrell and Nara being in the back because they will actually go ahead and cancel out a ton of the energy regeneration that she possesses, which makes it super hard to get through here. I was hoping that Baden would make a difference in here. Hoping Leo with the, right there, the crowd control. Fain Leonardo, a good combination between the two guys because they can lock everyone right into that back with the crowd control that both of them possess. Works very well in that combination. This one, I'm hoping we can keep Grez up for a little bit. I know versus Titus in here is very tough to deal with, but a lot of players underestimate Theowin, guys. Um, Theowin is really strong. We, we've seen her in a lot of different places, 66, even 89 there. Um, Theowin and her ability to go immune when she's actually into, she actually um, leeches onto another hero, which allows her to just kind of go crazy and go immune and do a considerable amount of damage while she is untargetable which is a really cool effect that we see there. So there we go, guys, 37-36. Hoping to make a little bit more progression in here um, as we get into 37, possibly get in, into chapter 38 at this point, running all of the grave warrants. So guys, that will do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know what which grave warrant hero you are really hoping to see um, awakened. Uh, honestly, th there are two solid choices when it comes to the Graveborn that I would love to see awakened. Um, one would be Shamira. I think because she was an absolute monster, she's been in AFK Arena for now, uh, I think three years. I think she was one of the originals. Um, but she has fallen off damage-wise. I would love to see her. In addition, I would love to see Baden, guys. Baden being completely built out, being maxed out, being an awakened hero would be a very cool factor to see. Rest of the heroes, I know a lot of them, you know, Frell, a lot of players use. Um, Isabella is another one that, you know, used to see a lot of play, but those are the two that I'm really voting for. Personally, number one, I would like to see Shamira to be our next Awakened hero when it comes to the faction-specific accounts. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think and which hero in the Graveborn should be Awakened. And as always, thank you guys for watching.